Hello there. This is the E.C. Atkins saw that I showed you in a previous video. We're going to attempt to bring this into working condition. Now this handle has to come off uh, and it is put on with saw nuts or you might call them Chicago screws sort of and what it is is it's a two-piece screw. One is threaded and one has a female housing that has internal threads and they they lock together. I know that they're called something else as well but I can't remember the name so what I'm going to do is I can take this off by unscrewing here. You want to try to do the best you can to get a screwdriver that fits these fairly well because you don't want them to You don't want to booger up the, the slots. A lot of times on these, what you'll end up with is a uh, one that'll spin. I'm hoping not to end up with one of those today. That would be a pain in the rear end. And I think I found one. Yeah, see it popped out there, but we're, I think, yeah, I can hold that because it was that loose. So I'm going to take these and, And remember the goal is, I'm not trying to make this I'm not trying to make these, uh, this saw look like it's brand new out of a package or brand new from the hardware store or anything like that. I just want the thing to be in a condition where they can do what it was meant to do and that is work wood. But you don't want to, you see how this is, it has a kind of, it's squared off here like a carriage bolt. And there are squares in, in the wood here. That's how it locks down and these can be tightened and loose. And the problem is that sometimes uh, the wood can, that square can like strip out, I don't know. Another way to say it, except maybe that the wood gets worn. That might be a better way to say it. But it gets worn and it doesn't hold like it used to. That kind of thing. We're going to take that. You see there's some like paint. Here, I'll try to clean that up with some water, some soapy water or whatever, if I can. If not, we might have to take the finish off of it. But I don't, if I can help it, what I don't want to do is take here where the hand has held it. I don't want to take these, this, this dark patina off of this handle. And some people might go, well, don't you want it to look pretty? Well, <laughs> pretty is as pretty does. <laughs> uh, it's in the eye, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And for me, that's beautiful. 
and I want to keep that because that says all those dark spots particularly in here somebody loved the saw somebody used the saw why would I want to remove that your mileage may vary and this play this steel most likely hasn't seen the light of day since this saw was manufactured and I'm guessing this was somewhere between 1929 and 50 some 1950 early 1950s something like that so but yeah look here lovely all right now what I'm gonna do let me get me a drink real quick excuse me is before I start hitting this plate with sandpaper I'm just gonna take a razor blade When you're doing it, you see where my hand is? You see where that razor blade is going? We're going to do everything we can not to allow a lot of, of pressure put behind that so if it were to slip, it wouldn't cut my hand. That's a, a moist rag. Doesn't matter because Lovely. I want to get right here where that handle was. And this is just an old rag that I left out at the bench. Uh, doesn't matter. Um, like I said, now some of these saws had like a tooth count. I don't see it here. I would have to, if I had to guess. That's like a six or eight tooth per inch. I think it's more like six, but I'll measure it at some point. And that's probably deader than a doornail. So I'm gonna switch out. If I can get it to come out to a fresh blade.
This is 60 grit. Now, I'm not trying to make this super shiny, but I want the, uh, all the rust off of it. You see, it's bringing up more rust right now. Okay, I want all of this off of there, and I want the, the saw plate. I need some, some dry cloth standby. Alright, like I was saying, I'm not trying to take, I'm not trying to make this shiny new. What I'm trying to do, I want all, I want all the rust off of it so that I can get off of it. But also what I want is for the plate to be nice and smooth. So that there's less chance it will bind in the cut and things of that nature so that it will cut smoothly. And so I have to take some of this off of here because I need it smooth and I need it rust free. Uh, the thing with it is, is the more of that black tarnish like look that I take off of it the more susceptible it's going to be to rust. That dark um, patina will protect the saw. From rust. It'll help to keep it free of rust and so I really don't want to take off any more than I have to but I do want to take what I have to take off and I got some rust at the tooth line but see how it's making that those cross scratches, I really don't want them on the saw. So what I'll do is But I want that rust off of there. All right, so I went from 60 grit to 120 grit. And that's as far as I'm gonna take this. And I have some steel wool. Normally, what I would do is put like WD-40 or something on the plate and use the steel wool, cause the steel wool will conform and if there are any pits or anything like that, it will get in there and it will lubricate. But I don't have that, but I have, I don't know if you can see it, I have Mother's Mag Polish. This is fantastic stuff, and what I'm going to do, this might remove too much of this black from my liking. I don't know, or it might not. But I want to get this in here. Because I want to take any kind of corrosion that might be left 
off of this plate. And this is what I have, so this is what I'm going to use. But you could use WD-40, you could use 3-in-1 oil. You could do almost anything. There was a lot of guys, and I may at some point, just as a rust preventative, use a bit of paste wax. And I'm just gonna, I'm just trying to do a thorough job so that I don't have to worry about it any more than necessary. Lovely. I love Mother's Mag. Uh, I use it a lot to restore razors, uh, to shine razor scales, to do all sorts of cleaning and polishing chores. And I haven't found anything yet that's any better with that kind of stuff and mother's mag. Your mileage may vary. Do what works for you. I love me some mothers. All right. Lovely. Beautiful. That's all that that plate needs. It doesn't need anything else. So I'm going to set this up here. What I'm going to do.